Now let's begin with a review of cellular structure and function. Eukaryotic cells have a number of organelles and other structures, including mitochondria, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticula, cytoplasm, nucleus, and Golgi apparatus. We will now discuss the structure and function of each component in turn, beginning with an overview of the cell cycle. There are four phases in the cell cycle, G1, S, G2, and M phases. The G1, S, and G2 phases are collectively known as interphase. M phase is the shortest during which two coupled processes occur. Mitosis, when the chromosomes are divided between two daughter cells, and cytokinesis, which is when the cytoplasm divides in half. Cells that temporarily stop dividing enter the G sub zero phase. Regulation of the cell cycle is controlled by cyclins and cyclin dependent kinases or CDKs. CDKs are constitutive and inactive. Cyclins are phase specific and activate CDKs. For the cell cycle to progress, cyclin CDK complexes must be both activated and inactivated. G1 to S progression is normally inhibited by RB and P53 tumor suppressors and mutations in these genes lead to uninhibited cell growth. Now let's review the phase of the cell cycle to types of cells found in the body. Permanent cells stay in G sub zero and regenerate from stem cells. For example, neurons, skeletal, cardiac muscle cells, and red blood cells are permanent cells. Stable or quiescent cells enter G1 from G0 upon stimulation. Examples of these types of cells are hepatocytes and lymphocytes. Labile cells never enter G sub zero and divide rapidly. For example, cells of the bone marrow, gut epithelium, skin, and hair follicles are considered to be labile. Now let's move into a discussion of specific components of cells. We begin with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. At the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, secretory proteins are synthesized and N-linked oligosaccharides are added to many proteins. Cells rich in rough ER include mucus secreting goblet cells of the small intestine and antibody secreting plasma cells. Nissel bodies, which are large granular bodies found in neurons, are composed of rough endoplasmic reticulum and free ribosomes. These are the sites of protein synthesis. Free ribosomes can move about the cytosol and proteins synthesized at free ribosomes are released into the cytosol and used by the cell. At the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, a variety of metabolic processes take place, including synthesis of lipids and steroids, metabolism of carbohydrates, regulation of calcium concentration, drug detoxification, 
attachment of receptors on cell membrane proteins, and steroid metabolism. The enzyme glucose-6-phosphatase, which converts glucose-6-phosphate to glucose, is associated with the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Cells rich in smooth ER include liver hepatocytes and the steroid-producing cells of the adrenal cortex. The primary function of the Golgi apparatus is to process and package proteins and lipids from the ER to the plasma membrane, lysosomes, and secretory vesicles. The structure of the Golgi is a series of flat membrane stacks known as cisterna. Proteins enter, progress through, and are packaged and sent to their final destination. As part of the primary function, a number of other events occur in the Golgi, including modification of N-oligosaccharides on asparagines, addition of O-oligosaccharides to serine and threonine, assembly of proteoglycans, sulfation of sugars in proteoglycans, sulfation of selected tyrosines, and the addition of mannose 6-phosphate to lysosomal proteins to target them to the lysosome. Failure to add mannose 6-phosphate results in eye cell disease or inclusion cell disease characterized by coarse facial features, clouded corneas, restricted joint movement, and high plasma levels of lysosomal proteins. The disease is often fatal in childhood. Vesicles pinch off of both the ER and the Golgi apparatus. A protein coat is associated with the vesicles. The nature of the coat depends on the function of the vesicle. For example, COPI coated vesicles undergo retrograde transport from the Golgi to the ER. COP2 anterograde transport from the ER to the Golgi, and clathrin-coated vesicles undergo transport between the Golgi and plasma membrane, the Golgi and endosomes, and the plasma membrane and endosomes. Lysosomes contain enzymes to aid the digestion of food, and they act as the cell's garbage disposal removing worn-out organelles, viruses, and bacteria. They are formed from early endosomes by the addition of hydrolytic enzymes. Microtubules are long cylindrical structures composed of alpha and beta tubulin arranged in a helical formation. The alpha and beta tubulin polymerize to form a dimer, and each dimer has two bound GTP. Microtubules grow slowly, collapse quickly, and are involved in a number of cellular processes, including mitosis, cytokinesis, and vesicular transport. Motor proteins including kinesin and dynein, move along the microtubules. Kinesin motion is anterograde from the minus to plus end, while dynein motion is retrograde from the plus to the minus end. Microtubule dynamics can be altered by drugs, including mebendazole or thiabendazole, which are anti-helminthic, paclitaxel, also known as taxol, which is anti-breast cancer, 
griseofulvin, which is antifungal, vincristine and vinblastine, which are anti-cancer, and colchicine, which is anti-gout. On a clinical note, Chediac Higashi syndrome arises from a defect in microtubule polymerization and results in a decrease in phagocytosis. While we're on the topic of microtubules, let's take a look at cilia. There are two types of cilia. Motile cilia, composed of two central microtubule doublets in addition to nine outer doublets, which is a 9 plus 2 axoneme, and non-motile or primary cilia, composed of a ring of nine outer microtubule doublets called a 9 plus 0 axoneme. The motor protein dynene is an ATPase. Its motion causes the sliding of the microtubules in the axoneme of motile cilia, producing the bending movement needed for cilia to beat. On a clinical note, in Cartagener syndrome, cilia are immotile due to a defect in the structure of dynene. This results in male and female infertility. In males, the sperm are not motile and also causes recurrent sinusitis as bacteria and other particles are not pushed out and it is associated with situs inversus. The key cytoskeleton components include actin and the motor protein myosin involved with microvilli, muscle contraction, cytokinesis, and adhering junctions, microtubules involved with cilia, flagella, mitotic spindle, neurons, and centrioles, and intermediate filaments involved with vimentin, desmin, cytokeratin, glial fibrillary acid proteins, and neurofilaments. The plasma membrane contains lipids, sterols, proteins, and carbohydrates. The lipid composition is asymmetric with the negatively charged lipids found in the inner leaflet. A marker for cell apoptosis is the presence of phosphatidylserine in the outer leaflet. The components are fluid, undergoing rapid, random motion. Mitochondria are membrane-enclosed organelles, known as the powerhouse of the cell for their role in producing cellular ATP. ATP is produced through the oxidation of glucose, pyruvate, and NADH through the process known as aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is highly dependent on maintenance of the very negative inner mitochondrial membrane potential, which drives oxidative phosphorylation of ADP into ATP by ATP synthase. The sodium-potassium exchange pump plays a major role in establishing the membrane potential. The protein is an integral membrane protein and the ATP site is located on the cytoplasmic side. Three sodium ions are pumped out for every two imported potassium ions. Each cycle requires ATP and the protein itself is phosphorylated. There are several compounds that inhibit the sodium-potassium ATPase. Wabane is an inhibitor 
it binds to the potassium side of the protein. Other inhibitors include cardiac glycosides, digoxin, and digitoxin from foxglove. These compounds result in increased cardiac contractility. In the human body, collagen is the most abundant protein. It is extensively modified and it acts to organize and strengthen the extracellular matrix. Type 1 collagen, which comprises 90% of the total collagen, is found in the bone, skin, tendon, dentin, fascia, cornea, and in late wound repair. Type 2 is found in the cartilage, vitreous body, and nucleus pulposus. Type 3 is found in the skin, blood vessels, uterus, fetal tissue, and granulation tissue. Type 4 collagen is found in the basement membrane or basal lamina. The synthesis of collagen is a multi-step process and there is some variation in the details between the different types of collagen. The basic features include the translation of collagen alpha chains known as pre-pro-collagen, which occurs at the rough endoplasmic reticulum, while in the ER, specific proline and lysine residues undergo hydroxylation. This requires vitamin C, and pro-alpha chain lysine residues undergo glycosylation. The typical sequence is glycine XY, where X and Y are proline, hydroxyproline, or hydroxylysine. A triple helical structure is formed from three collagen alpha chains. This structure is known as procollagen. Procollagen is secreted by exocytosis. Outside the cell, it undergoes further modification. The terminal regions are cleaved by procollagen peptidase, transforming it into tropocollagen, which is insoluble. Collagen fibrils are formed when the tropocollagens are linked together through covalent lysine hydroxylysine cross linkages by lysyl oxidase.